Alright guys, welcome back. It's me, Nintendo LPRZ Dude, and I am back with the next episode of Pokemon Sapphire Version. And in the last episode, we got our starter Pokemon Mudkip. Excuse me. Our, we, uh, rescued Professor Birch, beat May, and in this episode, we are going to head on into Route 101. And, um, continue on our journey. BRB. Alright. And now we are going to continue on and allow me to enter the Pokemart where we can purchase various goods. Quite. The goods are quite basic at this point, such as Pokeballs, potions, antidotes, paralyzed seals, awakenings. But I would suggest buying a few antidotes before going on with your journey. Six should suffice. Buy five more Pokeballs at ten. And since we only have one potion, let's buy four. That should do. Alright, so that should do it right now. My cat is, uh, well, on my windowsill. Basically, um, lying there in the fresh air. So I have my window open right now. And here we are, Route 102. The first route where you'll have your first non rival trainer battles. By that, I mean like these type of trainers, youngsters, lasses, bug catchers, etc, etc, etc. You know, it's people like them. So, here we go. It's a level 5 Zigun versus my level 7 Mudkip, nicknamed Finish. I um, am still looking, waiting for more um, recommendations on the name so far. One person has suggested... I didn't want to switch it. Well... Anyway, so, um, one person has suggested Mud King, I believe it is, or Swamp King. I'll look it over. And remember, if you choose it, if you say a name and I choose it, you know, I'll just put your name on screen for a few seconds, so it'll be like a few seconds shout out, none more. But still, I'm letting you guys... Oh, why do I always do that in this battle? Lol. And by the way, I am using the actual Game Boy Player, as you can see right there, so I can change it and whatnot. So, if I accidentally press Z and you see that... Yeah, it's just the menu for the Game Boy Player, basically, okay? Quite a handy type of thing, actually. You can um, play Game Boy Color and Advance games like the GameCube. It would be interesting if on the Wii U they do something like that for um, DS games, you know? Or even 3DS games, where it's like the uh, touchscreen on the controller is the bottom, would be the uh, bottom screen, and on the TV, you know, what you're looking at on the video, which is displayed on my TV right now, would be what's on the top screen of the game. Like, if I was playing Diamond and Pearl on the, uh, big controller, new controller, you would see, like, the touch screen, the poke catch, and on the top, you'd be seeing this center region. But, still, I think it would actually be quite interesting, you know? If they were to do that. I'm not saying they are, I'm not saying they're not, you know? Just me saying something, dreaming, you know, imagining something. Probably won't happen, but... It would be interesting, you know? And please uh, follow my blog. My blog now has a domain name. It is NintendoLPRZDude.net. And please, if you follow my blog, you'll stay up to date on almost anything that I post. Or anything I post. Or if you follow me on Twitter, you know, my blog is connected directly to my Twitter. So I should... So if you are following me on Twitter and you see, like, Pokemon Sapphire Episode 2 or... Or, like, let's say, more down the road, um, Poke Part 2, Wonders Beyond, episode, I don't know, 23. I'm making this up right now. But, yeah, it, it'll be posted on my blog. I will probably not really post video links from YouTube and post them on Twitter, since I just basically put them from my, um, YouTube channel. Just copy the link from the video and then put it up that way, so, yeah. So follow me on my blog and or Twitter and I'll make sure that it's uh, worth your while. And it'll be worth your while. So we get two Orin Berries. Anyways, and then right here we have two Pekka Berries. Not sure why Sugar calls them Pecha. I believe in the anime they actually pronounce them Pekka. So that's how I'm going to pronounce them. So yeah. And skip her... I believe there's a good item below where she is, but let's just ignore that for the time being. 
and enter the gym. Hmm? Well, if it isn't Z, dude. So, you are all finished moving in? I'm surprised that you managed to get here by yourself. Oh, I see. You are with your Pokemon. Hmm. Then I guess you are going to become a trainer like me, Z, dude. That's great news. I'll be looking forward to it. Um, I... I'd like to get a Pokemon, please. Hmm? You are... Uh... Oh, right. You are Wally, right? I'm going to stay with my relatives in Verdander... Burton Turf Town. I thought I would be lonely by myself, so I wanted to take a Pokemon along. But I've never caught a Pokemon before. I don't know how. Aww. He wants to take his Pokemon along like it's a nice little teddy bear. Hmm, I see. Z dude, you heard that, right? Go with Wally and make sure that he safely catches a Pokemon. Wally here. I'll loan you my Pokemon. Received a Zigzagoon. Oh, wow! A Pokemon! Hmm. I'll give you a Pokeball, too. Go for it. Oh, wow. Thank you. Zidu, would you really come with me? I guess I have to, so you don't really have to say would you really. Because if I had a choice, I would say no! <laughs> Alright, that's how Toby Conroy would say it, but really, me? I'd say no. Zidu, Pokemon hide in tall grass like this, don't they? Please watch me and see if I can catch one properly. Wah! And here we go, Wally catches a Pokemon. The uh, Pokemon catching tutorial with Wally as our star, basically. Alright. Just a warning. He becomes our second rival in the game, so yeah. I'd say between Sharon and Bianca, he's more like Bianca, you know? He's not really that knowledgeable, meanwhile your rival either May, if you pick the male character, or Brandon, the character I am right now, but you'd be facing Brandon if you pick the female character, you know, would be more like Sharon. They'd be more knowledgeable about what they do, so really... Yeah, he, he, Wally's more like the Bianca of the group, so, yeah. A little sad there. I did it! It's my... My Pokemon! Z dude, thank you! Let's go back to the gym. Aye, aye. So, did it work out? Thank you. Yes, it did. Here's your Pokemon back. Z dude, thank you for coming along with me. You two are why I was able to catch my Pokemon. I promise, I'll take really good care of it. Oh. My mom's waiting for me, so I have to go. Bye, Z, dude. Strong trainer, my advice is for Rustboro City beyond this town. Alright, badges. Well, about one day, but only after we... After I get stronger, so... Check my Pokemon... Nah, eh, it's good enough for now. Alright, I can continue on without worrying. All right, so um, so what this kid has to say? Here we go. There we go. Oh, sure it is. If it's a nice, bright summer day. But what about during the winter? Not so much. People are more likely leaving snow prints in the snow, just like they do in Animal Crossing. Lol. But still, enough about that. If you give me a choice between C dot and uh, Lotad, I choose Lotad any day. Even though I believe C dot evolved, put it final evolution to shift rate. I believe Ludicolo is better. And I almost fainted there. But we managed to finish that guy off. <laughs> okay, that's not funny. That was a terrible pun. A Halo. All right, let's heal up. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to go to potion, use, and heal up. There we go. I believe you can find a Taylo in this room, so I'm gonna go off. I'm gonna look around for it after this battle and see if I can. 
I believe Taylor has Levitate, so I'm not going to try to use Mud Slap since that's ground type attack and it would miss. Alright. Just pecking away like a woodpecker, aren't ya? Pecked away until you the last breath. And level 10, awesome! Water gun! We rule. Wow, I got sand in my runners. They're all gritty. Alright, kid. Alright, I'm gonna go off screen looking and look for a uh, tail of, so I'm gonna see you guys in a moment. Guys, third try and I found a tail of. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead with the uh, tackle to it so that way I don't knock it out. And right, that's the best I guess I could do. Because if I use tackle or water if I use water gun or tackle, it'll most likely go down being as water gun I believe gets a point five boost. So if water gun becomes tough if used by another water type. And guess what? We caught a Taylor! Awesome! Taylor's data was added to the Pokedex. Halo is young. Halo is young. It has only just left its nest. As a result, it sometimes becomes lonesome and cries at night. This Pokemon feeds on wormhole that live in forests. Sure thing. I'll give it a nickname. <clears throat> I'm just. This nickname is also temporary. So if you want to have a better name for Halo, leave it in the comment section below this video, and I'll. Well. Excuse me, when we get to a town later on in the game, well, we'll see, um, which nickname I choose, so, but for now, I'm gonna call it, give me a moment, gonna cut it to when I get the name. So, Taylor's name right now is Fierce Bird. Going with um, what the anime told us, tells us about Taylor, so I decided to call it that. So let's go use a single potion on Taylor right now, and then another on Mudkip, leaving us with one potion remaining. Let me switch Taylor to the uh, front of the party, and um, let's uh, get two, get these two orange berries. And then, by the way, Orange Berries heal 10% of their HP, so, or gives them 10 HP back, I believe. And Pekka Berries heal Poisoning, I believe. Let me check that. Ow. Yep, heals Poisoning in battle and gives, restores 10 HP. So I'm going to give a Pekka Berry to Fierce Bird and a uh, Orange Berry to Fierce Bird, excuse me. And a Pekka Berry... Don't want to that. And a peck berry to finish. Alright. And so I believe I should end the video off here. As to not get caught up in this uh, trainer battle with that rich kid that is hard to avoid but it is possible. So in the next episode we are going to continue on towards the uh, forest. And uh, see what we have to do there. Alright guys, so I'll see you guys next time. This has been Nintendo LPRZ Dude and I am signing out guys. Adios.